Hello again. Okay, here at the Chew we talk a lot about 3D printing because, you know, it's the future, the very cool future. One of the most interesting companies in the field is the Netherlands-based Ultimaker. Their latest Ultimaker 2 printed uh, uh, printer received great reviews for quality and speed, but most importantly, the Ultimaker 2 is open source. There's a big vision behind Ultimaker, mainly as they put it, to make the internet physical again. Let's watch their promotional video before we get our special guest to tell us all about it. Yep, uh, Ultimaker is releasing its products in Israel this week. They will be distributed by local powerhouse Mafail Inc. So, us, uh, with us in the studio to discuss this hot topic is none other than Ultimaker's co-founder, Siert Venia. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, so, what does open source 3D mean? Open source to us means that um, we open the designs of the machine. We put our design, uh, the 3D model of the machine itself, on the internet. It's how we started, it's uh, what triggered the whole movement that we're in right now, uh, started by Adrian Boyer with the Rap Rap. Um, that's how we were born, and that's where I believe in, uh, in open sourcing, uh, to speed up innovation. Yeah, how is it better for us regular consumers that it's open source? Um, by open sourcing, I am pushing uh, our company uh, to innovate quicker uh, because if I'm open sourcing other people can copy what I do um, so I'm enforcing myself to be quicker uh, with new things that I want to put out there on the other hand also it makes it possible to uh, have a dialogue with people outside the company and uh, see what ideas they have and see whether we can uh, com uh, work together with them and combine them in our products so, okay, I go. So, what was the best use of Ultimaker 3D printer you've seen with your own two eyes so far? I think uh, the best project uh, we did so far is the Enable project. It's uh, uh, enabling uh, children to have a, that are disabled with their hands. Mm -hmm. They can. Uh, there is a design you can print, and they have a, a, a hand that you can print, and the, these kids they don't have fingers or they don't have a hand, they can use it and then uh, uh, use it normally to live a normal life and mm -hmm. grabbing a cup for very, very low cost. It's a, it's a couple of euros in parts uh, instead of these very expensive prosthesis that you normally have. Wow, amazing, because you know, for me, uh, 3D printers are, seem to be very um, expensive, uh, slow, complicated for home users. A am I right? Uh, yes, uh, that's what I was frustrated about myself when we uh, started uh, to, to, to make a better printer ourselves because um, I was one of the people that decided these machines are too expensive and too big and too complex and I want to have one in my own house. I want to have the freedom of making stuff in my own house that I need that's for my purpose. So uh, uh, making a cheaper machine that I can run, that I can make accessible is, is really a giant leap forward. And, and it's, it's, being, it, it's giant to be in this movement that we can bring it to the masses. You know, we have an argument here at, um, at the tube, at the show, uh, if 3D printing will change everything or if it won't. I'm assuming you believe it will have a lot of impact, but what's your say about the place 3D printing has in the near future? It will have a, a, a giant role. Um, I think at the moment it is like uh, we are in the stone age of 3D printing, as I may call it, because uh, what you have from the machines is uh, are still things. But what we're working on now is to, uh, to try to get complete products out of the machine, and that is what will happen in the next few years. Uh, so it's not just a representation of an object, but it's the object that you use yourself. 
so by combining materials and combining uh, electronics inside. Uh, so uh, it will have quite some impact, but it does not mean that a lot of things that we have right now will be just uh, off the table and we don't use them anymore. But it will have a lot of impact, yes. Like, let's imagine my, uh, my regular use of my 3D printer, my home 3D pr uh, printer. What will I be printing? Uh, today you will be printing uh, spare parts for plastic things that, that are break down or uh, uh, a cup or uh, a little uh, a casing around your iPhone or a, a cup with your name in or you, you give uh, something that you've designed uh, to a friend and by giving the design you uh, gave him uh, or her a lot of effort so you, you uh, show your reward. Which is lovely fun but not useful in a way that uh, I need it. It's fun to do it. On the other hand if we look at the Enable project yes. you can print complete prosthesis for children for very little money and if a kid grows uh, next year he's bigger or she and you can print the next version that is uh, required because you just take the same print, you scale it up a little bit and you print it again. Okay, so I'll be able to, to print the beautiful sofa I want uh, in my living room or, so, or furniture from Ikea or you know what I mean? Yes. Uh, if you want to print a sofa you need a giant 3D printer. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, there are giant 3D printers out there but it's not regular, it will not be in your house straight away. It will take a while. And the question is, would you like to have a machine that is that big that it can print a sofa? Or I don't need it, it in my house. I'm, ju I'm just imagining if everything can become much cheaper and change um, um, a lot of the economy because now everything is, well, printable. I think um, I'm not totally looking at the economics. What I'm really interested in is that you can print it at will at the place where you are. And I think that is a, a giant leap forward. So what we're doing is bringing craftsmanship uh, from uh, uh, previous ages mm -hmm. uh, back to normal day life in which everyone is able to create right on the spot. It's, it's like nature. If you see a tree grow, mm -hmm. it grows with the materials around it at the spot where it is. And I think we've made a very complex system and now the whole 3D printing scene that we see emerging right now is trying to mimic nature in, in, a, in a very small step. Mm -hmm. Do you have a printer in your own, in your own private home? Yes, 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 of course. What was the last thing you printed? Uh, the last thing I printed were some uh, new designs that I created for my own machine. Lovely! So, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, there's a sense, uh, it's symbiotic. Um, yeah, it is, definitely. It is. Yes. Uh, Sia, thank you very much for coming here. Enjoy uh, Tel Aviv while you can. Thank you. And